do this. In the QR code for the user manual, what on earth? Shimano. Alright, so Yop came through again with a used lock ring tool for a Shimano cassette. Teeth are a little chewed up, but put that file on them and get a little bit of grease on there. Guys, you want to grease this stuff up. Don't be that guy. Don't be that previous owner that didn't grease the thing. It got all squeezed up. Adequately tight. Not too shabby. Danger suitable dimensions of the rear end. Pretty mean, man. Pretty mean. Front wheel here. We got a roller, people. So I got this Brooks saddle that originally came with the old school clamp. It's got the double bars here. They released something that goes in between here so you can use these with a standard seat post. Sorry Brooks, but I made my own out of wood. Boom. So this Odyssey 41 thermal seat post is one of maybe two or three pieces on this bike that I've had since I was a teenager. I bought this stuff to go on the BMX bike I built which was a several different frames and random collection of parts and at one point was a We the People Four Seasons frame. Rode that for the longest time and then found an old uh, S&M dirt bike frame that was ended up being a junior and was way too small for me but I was already kind of outgrowing to BMXing. Anyway so that Primo stem, this Odyssey seat post, it's like that episode of Mr. Bean where his car gets crushed into a cube but all he wanted was the lock that he kept on the door. Uh, it's kind of like that. The stem and the seat post to me are the most precious parts of this build in a funny kind of way. A little seat sandwich. Ooh, she got a lot of seat, boy. Freaking happening. Pretty exciting moment, man. Ooh, it's a big boy. Look at that big boy. Ooh. Look, too big. Freaking sweet. Watch the bar spins. <laughs> Man, this thing's a trucker. Pretty rad, dude. Pretty stinking rad. Alright, I've got some tooth counts. Now it's time to talk gearing. I have a decision to make. So it's gear time. The old BMX bikes had a 44 tooth front sprocket and a 16 tooth freewheel. That gives you a ratio of 2.75. The Fuji road bike, I had a 50 tooth sprocket, 16 tooth freewheel in the back. That gave me 3.1, which is pretty much chilling in high gear all the time. Bumped it down to that 44 too surly I keep going on about, which gave me at 2.6 once I moved here and had to deal with hills and stuff. Firestone's got a 44 with a 20 tooth coaster brake in the rear. Barracuda has a 3 7 gear combo 
which takes you from less than one, which uh, to be honest I find pretty unusable, at least in my daily life, uh, to three, which three is, feels pretty good at at the fastest cruise. So, um, but I still am going to want this this what I had with the Fuji here for a high gear at least. So for the Fisher, I've got this 1146 cassette that I just put on, and I have a choice between a 34 tooth and a 38 tooth which gives me a range of gear ratios from either 0.7 to 3.1 or 0.8 to 3.45. I don't know if I need a 3.45, I think the best place to start is with this 34 tooth here. So uh, I am going to order a longer spindle for this thing. I've got a little bit of room to make up, but uh, I think in the meantime I can at least get this bike together with this on here. Clearance is okay if I put it on the outside. With the longer spindle, I might bump it out and put it on the inside of the spider. I think this will work. Let's check the chain line. Let's see where we're at. I'd say that's pretty good. More or less towards the middle. Isn't that where it's supposed to be? I don't know. I should Google it. Looking for the center of the cassette, a little more complex. Cool. You heard the part, guy. I guess with the chain ring on, uh, it's time for derailers and stuff. Shimano XT stuff. Let's see here. Mm, check that out. Let's see, we've got a QR code. Scan it for the user's manual. The last time I tried that, it was just safety stuff. There wasn't actually any useful information. So I think they leave you on your own. Does it fit on the bike? Looks like it ought to. Okay, how hard could it be? Same deal. Oh, but this has oh, also a QR code instructions. SLM8000 Japan. That's pretty nice. Okay, well that seems reasonable. Scan QR code. All right, man. Let's try it. Boom. We got important notice, regular inspections, names of parts, how to operate, Let's go look like names of parts. Lever B, lever B, lever C. Where they go, where at crank arms. Okay, that's how to operate. You got the, oh, gear shifting operation. Number of sprocket shifts depends on the lever stroke. Okay, that's cool. We're good, dog, we're good.